Hi everyone, this is Jocelyn from the Benzo Brains YouTube channel and I'm excited to announce that I'm going to be participating in a continuing education course provided by Mad in America. It's a course on psychiatric drug withdrawal. Um, this conversation I believe is more important now than ever with current world events that are going on. There's going to be a lot of conversations about you know, mental health and do certain people need to be medicated and what do we do? Um, but the in, crucial part of that conversation that never seems to get addressed is what do we do when people are already on these medications? What do we do when, how do we know if they're having an adverse reaction and if they're not responding well, how do we safely get these people off of psychiatric drugs? Um, this webinar series is going to include psychiatrists who are experts who have experience in this and, and other mental health professionals and to kick it all off on October 24th there's going to be a panel entitled experts by experience it will be myself and two other people who have not only um, successfully withdrawn from psychiatric medications but have also used the knowledge that we have learned and, and the information that we have researched on tapering methods and withdrawal to then extend that in a, in a peer support forum um, to help other people who are looking to get off their medications. Um, one of the reasons why this course is so necessary, uh, unfortunately, is because the medical field is not providing the resources and the, they don't um, provide people with the help and the information that they need to get off of these medications. <clears throat> I was recently at the International Benzodiazepine Symposium and it was difficult to get doctors who were interested in attending. And uh, the same thing I think is going on here with Mad in America, which is why this is a continuing education course instead of a, a CME. It, it falls upon those of us who are patients, those of us who uh, are counselors or in other uh, areas of mental health care to become educated, become aware of the signs and symptoms uh, and, and extend help to the people who really need professional help in getting off these but can't find it. Um, and in the future my hope is that the more interest that is shown in um, this kind of a, a series, um, in these kinds of events, the, the more interest that we can get from the medical profession, the more that we will be able to actually provide uh, continuing education courses for doctors so we can get more and more medical professionals who are educated about this who can help their patients. Uh, if we're going to allow doctors and psychiatrists to prescribe drugs that really are so mind and body altering that it can become dangerous for people to get off of these drugs, uh, they have a moral obligation uh, to learn how to help people get safely off of these. Um, so I encourage you to participate in this event. I encourage you to invite anybody that you know of who uh, might benefit from these continuing education credits or even somebody who's in a peer support role. They are offering scholarships and there are still some available for people who are not in a professional capacity but might still uh, benefit from this kind of education. So I look forward to seeing everybody who will be attending on October 24th and we'll talk to you later.